So I woke up with best laid plans, as usual, to do a meatloaf. But then I did a freezer inventory, which is something I recommend that you guys do from time to time to make sure that you're not having to throw things away because meal prep is your friend. So what I determined is I've got plenty of proteins to get through the week this week and really that I need to use. And what I really needed was a good side to go with that. So since I'm being a little carb conscious, thanks to Miller Lite, we are going to do a cauliflower broccoli cheese bake. Let's get started. Let's talk about the star of the show and with any type of, uh, you know, mac and cheese or cauliflower and broccoli and cheese, the star of the show is, of course, the cheese. What I'm doing today is basically my mac and cheese recipe, but instead of the pasta, we're doing the cauliflower and broccoli, and this is what I use. I'm going to do a smoked Gouda because we're also going to have some ham and bacon in this party, and that mixes beautifully together good old sharp cheddar cheese, um, a real good nutty Gruyere. Sorry, poo-poo it if you want to, but nothing beats American cheese in this stuff. So I'm just going to have a couple of slices that also help sort of bring all the other cheese together. Doing some Parmesan for the top, and the controversial item here is blue cheese. Now, I add a little blue cheese. It's not to overpower it, um, but it has this bite to it that I think personally is wonderful, and I'm a super duper fan of stinky cheese. If you don't like it, leave it out. I get it, it's not for everybody. So with that, we're gonna get graded and we'll move on to next steps. Alright guys, we are going to get some really good salted water here. We kind of need to cook the, um, the cauliflower and the broccoli down just a little bit. You're going to want it to be al dente. What I've done is I've broken down um, about one head of cauliflower and one head of, well that was broccoli, cauliflower, right, into small-ish pieces. We're just going to get this in. I know it's be a little too much but I'm really just kind of going for a steam anyway a little steam bath drop one on the floor let's talk a moment about the spice profile so we're going to do some liberal black pepper um, and some salt when we get to making the sauce um, I'm using some garlic powder ground mustard you could use some you know yellow mustard a squirt or two in that if you wanted to um, we will be putting a sprinkle of nutmeg into this because it's going to be a white sauce and you need the nutmeg. It's just really nutty. <laughs> uh, some smoked paprika. Again, we've got the ham and the bacon and the smoked gouda. So we want this smokiness. And then some red pepper, just a splash. This will all be being incorporated into our bechamel sauce, which we will get to shortly. It's been about five minutes, so I'm going to call it. All right, now we're going to start making the sauce. So I'm going to put about four strips of bacon into the hot pan. I'm doing this lardon style, which is a fancy French word for just cut your bacon up. And we're going to let this start rendering out. Because we're going to want some of that delicious fat. Like I need it like a hole in my damn head. But hey, there's no carbs. Okay, so now is where the work we 
begins actually. So we are going to take out this bacon and reserve it because this is going to go on the top of the bake. Right, I've got one more little piece in there. Now, to that fat, you are going to add some butter. I'm using the Kerrygold butter today. Yum, yum, yum. And uh, you don't want your butter to burn. And generally, I'm going to bring the heat down to about a medium low. Because it is roux time. Okay, we're going to add some flour and start incorporating. You want to cook out the flour taste as much as you can. this you're gonna add heavy whipping cream y'all I did not say that this was diet necessarily friendly I said it was carb friendly okay so two of those and we're gonna let this go Incorporate just a little. I'm going to add a liberal amount of black paper at this point, my garlic powder, dry mustard, the paprika, a little bit of the red pepper. Just a douche do 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 of the nutmeg. We're going to start adding the cheese. Gonna get the cheese in. Now you're going to want to reserve some of this cheese uh, for the topping, right? Because, I mean, hello. Put that in. And um, here's the blue cheese. So, you know, I mean, I'm not really overdoing it on it, but, you know, use as much or as little as you like because I love it. Yum, 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 yum. And then you start stirring this to incorporate. Lest I forget. White trash cheese. Start with two pieces. Maybe I need more. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's just start whisking a little bit here. Look at that. It's luscious. It's creamy. You want to talk about some macaroni and cheese? This is the best. You got the smokiness of the Gruyere, the nuttiness, or smokiness of the smoked Gouda, nuttiness of the Gruyere, cheddar, the American. I'm going to add some non-fat Greek yogurt. You could use sour cream, but I mean, 
<laughs> this non-fat Greek yogurt stuff's become my new favorite thing. It's so good. And um, not so much of the sin, if you know what I mean. That is a million damn dollars right there. Okay. So, start adding. Broccoli and cauliflower. Now let's incorporate this ridiculousness. Mmm. 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 I'm going to add some chopped ham to this. Okay, we're going to get the trusty 13 by 9 out. We're going to assemble this and get her in the oven. Okay, so we're going to make the topping here. So as you remember, we had reserved some of the cheese, okay? Um, to that, I'm going to add some breadcrumbs, you know, just to store-bought stuff. Good and liberal, because I like the breadcrumbs and the cheese to, like, become all this crusty, gooey, yummy stuff. And then the Parmesan cheese we grated. Get this mixed up. We are going to put this ooey gooey yummy. Mm. Are you kidding me with this? Look at that. I'm going to get all of it. Boing, 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 boing. Okay. Now, I'm going to put our cheesy breadcrumb topping here. Oh my goodness gracious. And don't forget the bacon. A little bit of parsley, just, you know, make it pretty. Okay, time to get that in the oven. Uncovered, 375. I'll check in on it at about 30 minutes and see where we're at. All right, it is time. Let's see what we got. Oh, please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Oh. But here's the hard part. It's got to rest for at least 15 minutes. So the waiting game begins. I, I can't stand it anymore. It's time. Let me see what we got. Oh, wow. Check that out. Creamy, smoky, delicious. So we're going to give this a taste, guys. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. This is the damn bomb right here, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. There you have it, kids. This is cauliflower broccoli cheese bake. 
not quite Kato friendly because of the, you know, breadcrumbs and the roux and stuff like that, but it's damn close. Very carb conscious. We're not going to talk about how much fat's in this. Make it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm Mr. B. Click subscribe. Come along for the ride. We're going to see you next time. Mm. Look at the Netflix going, let's see.